Hello, this is My Mobile Learning Tips, a video podcast series that is meant to help students and teachers make use of mobile technology, both in the classroom and on the go. My name is Andreas Hofer, and in this episode I'm going to show you how to use QR codes in the classroom. A QR code, which stands for Quick Response Code, provides a quick method of getting content onto smartphones. Here are some examples of how teachers and students can use QR codes in the classroom using the Kaiva online QR generator and a projector or printouts in the classroom. The highest potential of QR codes lies in their ability to connect smartphones directly to the web. Teachers can use this for a variety of purposes. By using a mobile-friendly blog, such as WordPress or Blogger, it is possible to pass on pretty much any kind of information you can imagine – short texts, instructions, news, maps, videos, feedback forms and much more. If a teacher would like to provide the students with a listening comprehension on the web, all she would have to do is copy the URL of the mp3 file and create a QR code. The students then can download the file to their smartphones, preferably via the school's Wi-Fi network, and listen to it at their own individual pace. An interesting application of QR codes is when the students create the content themselves. They could create mp3 files as audio guide for their town, for example, or they could create a virtual museum at school using a mobile-friendly mobile website or blog. Another interesting use of QR codes is transferring the URL of a Google Map. The receiver could use the map to instantly get walking or driving directions or even satellite navigations to the destination, depending on the OS of the phone. A teacher can use this to distribute a map with all the points of interest for a field trip in a matter of minutes. This is the end of this episode. I hope you have enjoyed it.